okay so in previous video we saw that uh, how this urls uh, pi works okay so now in this video we are going to create our own uh, uh, urls path okay so for that uh, let's just say uh, i want to create a default i want to change this default page okay so i'll use the same path okay if any user comes okay okay so where uh, it should take me okay so where it should take me so since this is the project url okay i'll i came over here okay so uh, what i'll say i'll use another module over here first okay include okay what i'll do include include true colors to true color true color okay true color dot urls okay nothing simply let's just say i because anything whatever you come looking for it will come first to the project urls okay it came over here okay uh a client uh, uh, somebody came and it is asking for uh mr project uh i need to go here so project uh came to this next parameter okay uh, he wants to look here so where do where should we uh, like where should we send them so what he's telling this uh, project guy project guy say okay now you go to this true caller t-r-u-e true caller dot urs you will find there where to go okay so i'll do path okay path so here if anyone empty person comes okay so we'll tell that we have to go views dot views dot home okay views dot home this should be also in comment okay we'll name this also as home only mm -hmm. okay home only now you said that what is this view dot home so what we'll do we'll create another file oh no we don't have to create we can see that we have already a views dot pi okay uh what does this do basically here all the logical parts are written okay and from here only the rendering works okay rendering means like uh, how your data will look from where your data should uh, come all those things all the logical part will come over here okay so what are we and this will be instead of uh, we have to write a function for that okay so let's just set if home as because we have written uh, we have to go from views take home so we have to give here name as home only okay and it will take one parameter called request okay after that we have to return if, uh, if functions then we have to return it okay return uh, so just to show you once i'll show you we'll install this http response also okay import this uh, http response from django.shortcuts so we'll return that okay return okay http response so here we can return anything uh let's just say uh, hi this is a trial okay we'll save it okay now we have to run it we again run okay so it didn't happen because views must be called for a list or tuple in case of include okay it's because because we we are trying to use this but we don't know that where from where okay so from dot means like from this current folder import views okay so now we are using this okay i will control save it again okay and then again we'll try to again run this let's see if there is any error okay again it came view must be called for a list and 
Do, am I doing something wrong? There is something wrong. The format, how I have written. Okay, now it's running. Okay, we don't have to put co. I mean, like within the code, so it should be just views dot home. Okay, now it is working. I'll come over here. I'll remove this. Okay. See what happened earlier when we are running this. Okay, we got uh, the default page. Okay, but now I told the our URLs dot py. Okay. If somebody is looking for an empty like uh, only the URL, okay, only the home thing, then you should go to this truecaller.urls. Okay, so I came, so I came over here. So when I again checked here, you can like give multiple paths over here. So for now we have only one. So we came over here. So path okay, we matched okay. It's empty only. So what to do now? So after that it. Uh, it told that okay you go to views okay in views you, you will have a function called home and from there you fetch everything whatever is there and then you can see the data so this is what hi this is a trial so hi this is a trial okay great so this is working so this is it for uh, this video uh, please watch the next video for the next uh, step how to create the true color the main logical part starts from there